Hey guys, I'm just going to do a little video on how to allow developer options on the Fire Stick because it's not always right in front of you. Sometimes you have to make it appear. And I'm going to install IPTV Smarters and STB Emulator just to show you how to do it if you need to do it. I'm not going to show any live TV. Anyways, uh, this is on a new Fire Stick build, so you won't have developer options available. If you already have it, you can skip that part. This is for somebody who has no idea how to do it. And you, their main app on the Fire Stick is Downloader. So you'll need to install Downloader in order to install third-party apps. That's when you have to allow unknown sources in developer options. So let's go ahead and get Downloader. There's a couple ways to get it. The easiest way is hold your Alexa button, install Downloader. Hmm, I don't know that one. Install Downloader. Here's Downloader. You use Alexa, and you can say install Downloader, and there it is. You're going to download it yourself and install it. It's already on the Fire Stick. It's just not right in front of you. Another way, from the home screen, you go to Find. And you search for it type hit search and you just type D for downloader and it comes up right there two ways same result click on downloader and now you're going to click on download it you hit OK let it install once you install downloader you have to allow unknown sources for downloader in order to install what you want to use it for so always say yes Hit OK. So this is Downloader. I'm going to put in an app. It's called APK Time. And that's where you're going to get other apps. Like STB Emulator. So the code for that is 11946. And this is going to show you that it won't work unless you install unknown sources. You check that box. So I'm going to hit Go. And it's going to tell me I can't do it. Let it get to its where it wants to go. And when it tries to install it, it's going to make you check off unknown sources. And there it is. It's going to say your security not allowed to uh, install unless you do what you need to do. So I'm going to hit settings. And you're going to come to, I'm just going to go to the main settings so you know where to go to in general. If you hold the house button, It'll bring up these choices and you're going to hit settings and it's going to be under my fire tv and it, developer options is right there but you can't see it right now because it's hidden so you're going to hit about and then you're going to hit where it says fire stick eight times okay button three four five six seven eight now it says at the bottom no need you're already a developer so i'm going to back button once and there's developer options. So you're going to click on that. And you're going to install unknown apps. And you want to use Downloader. So you have to hit Downloader. You turn it on. Install unknown apps. Now you can use Downloader and it's going to work. You can do that as soon as you install Downloader if you want. So you're going to arrow back. One at a time. Until you get to where you are installing it at. And you do it again, and now it brings up APK time, which we want, and we're going to install it again. There it is installed. I hit done, so it's going to be in your apps right now. So this is just a, a file that you can delete now because you don't need it. it. Takes up room on your Fire Stick. You're going to go up to where it says Home. You're going to hit OK. Now you can hit your arrow back button to get off that page. Keep hitting it until you go home and now you're back home now you want to find your downloader I mean your APK time you're gonna to come to your three squares you're gonna hit that and that's gonna bring up all your apps and here's your newly installed APK time now on certain fire sticks you have to allow unknown sources for every app we just did it for downloader fire stick 4k max fire stick light 
you need to install unknown apps every time on different apps you install. On Fire Stick 4K, you do it once and you're done. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to try to install STB Emulator. And we're going to go to Players and Browsers. You're going to hit OK. And you're going to scroll down until you find STB Emulator. Once again, it's a Fire Stick 4K Max. So it's not going to install without you clicking Unknown Sources. So you can go in there first and do it, or you can try to install it right now, and it's going to tell you you can't install it. So let's do it. It's downloading it. It's going to ask you to install it and say that it can't do it. For your security, TV is not allowed to install this app. If you had a 4K Fire Stick, it would work because it would do it once and you would have it for every single app. On this Fire Stick, you need to do it every time. So it's going to take you right to developer options and you've already allowed that now by finding developer options. So you're going to hit install unknown apps and you're going to check APK time. Now it works. Now you can install apps from there. So hit back slowly. Go right back to where you were, click on the STB emulator you wanted, and this time it will let you do it. You want to install it, you're going to put yes, install. Now anything else you want to install from APK time, you can do it, no hassle, as soon as you allow unknown sources. You just have to learn how to find it if it's not on your fire stick. You have to enable it by hitting about in settings and then click eight times on fire stick and then you it populates it when you back up. Now we have STB emulator. If you needed it for your particular service, you could now use it. I just opened it just to show it to you. And now you have to configure it. And that's between you and your provider on how to set it up. I'm going to exit. Now you want to find install IPTV Smarters Pro. This one's going to be simple. You're just going to go to Downloader. And you're going to type in troypoint.com slash smarters. That's the, the easiest version to use for IPTV Smarters. You're just going to type it in. Troy Point. Dot com. Slash. Forward slash. Smarters. And you're going to hit go. And it's going to install it for you. You're going to hit install. So just a couple little tips on installing IPTV Smarters Pro STB emulator. Especially if you don't know how to allow developer options now you do and when you hit done you come back to this screen here you're just going to delete that file it just takes up space on your fire stick and when you're on this page you go hit home then you can hit back you hit back and you go you just get right out of it and your main apps on your front page of your fire stick are right here if you want to add the new apps to it you click on the three boxes there the three squares and you find the apps you want to put on the home screen and you click the menu button on the remote it's got three lines on it right there on the right you're gonna hit that it's gonna give you some choices you put move to front and there it is up front and you go back to the other app you click on the menu button you put move to front then you hit your arrow back button now you go home and there they are on the home screen so if you wanted IPTV smarters 
you open her up and this once again is based on your service with your provider you always put you click on TV and you'll choose the option what you need for your service I usually use this one you'll have a login a password and username and that's a trial or a subscription to your service which you can get from any provider you will plug that in you'll hit add user and you're off and running so any questions or anybody wants to trial on one of these two services feel free to message me no big deal I can send you a free trial all right guys thanks for listening night